guys, welcome back to a tutorial. Yay! <laughs> Stupid. Today we'll be working on a bee farm. To get this thing going, you're gonna need at least two bees and a beehive and whatnot, which beehives are not hard to make. You just need to get some honey comb, which you get from one little click from their bee's nest, which is why I never take the nest usually. I just clip the hive, click the Share the nest and get the honeycomb, come back and make the beehives. And to do that, to get everything going here, you just take a beehive, some flowers, and we just breed these guys up. Boom, boom. Then we snag the little guy. Get over here. There we go. Then we just bring them over here, lock them in here for now. It's a little tricky to get them through here. You always make bigger doors. Come on, you want to get in here? Come on. And you just throw a beehive up in here. And there you go. Once you get three of them in there, you just knock it down. And make sure you use silk touch. You don't use silk touch, not going to work. And make sure you have a campfire underneath the smoke here. But the bees will attack you. Not pretty. Not pretty at all. Alright. That's basics of bee breeding. But now we want the bee farm. You know, honey and honeycomb. This is basically all the materials you're going to need. For this, this farm is segmented. Which means you can just make one segment. And you can make a double one and another one and another one down the line. Simple. These are for collecting the honey. These are collecting the honeycomb. Alright, so let's get this started here. Get rid of that. We don't need that right now. First, we're going to go to chest or whatever. Or you can put it wherever you want to store, store it. Wow, I can't talk. Or you can connect it to whatever you're storing it to. I'm just using a chest for the purpose of this tutorial. Now we put a hopper right here, 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 and here. Block here. Make sure you hold shift when you click on the hoppers. I go up two. That's what it should look like for now. Pretty simple, huh? It really is. Come up block here. Now I'm going to switch the glass. And put a comparator right here. Facing this way. Just like that. Put a little redstone dust down here. Put a couple temporary blocks up. And some more glass this way. And some more redstone dust. Now complete this. Just going like this with the glass. And redstone dust all the way across, like so on all these. Yeah. This and this. That could stay there for now. Pretty simple, right? Now we come over here. Make sure our droppers or your dispensers are facing down. Boom. We are practically almost done. Now if we put hoppers into the dispensers. Boom. 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 And chest on top of the hoppers. 
just like that. This is how we should be looking from the front. And this is how we should be looking from the back. Well, that's a side view, excuse me. Now this is how we should be looking from the back. Pretty simple, right? Now I'm going to take this stuff here and feed it into our chest up top. Excuse me. For this one, I'm doing um, three bottles or three honey collection and two honeycomb collection. And before you start with the beehive collecting honey, make sure your dispensers are completely full of bottles or it'll, it'll correct itself eventually, but yeah, it just causes issues. Yeah, so make sure these are all full before you start doing everything else. Come on, get on. There we go. And these ones, I'm just going to go like this. And then we'll just put the rest of them up. That's it so far. I mean, we're doing pretty good, huh? I want grass. Yeah, I kind of screwed up on this. So I'm just going to go over one chest for now. Because I made a mistake. You can't open the chest underneath the full block. That's my fault. No, I don't want to destroy that one. I'm an idiot. I could have actually restarted the video all over again and redid this, but nah. You make these mistakes in survival mode, and God knows how many mistakes I've made. And we just got to keep going and rectify them. That's all. There we go. And we'll get these things. Oops, strong chest. Alright, because getting time to put the hives in. The best time to put the hives in, even though it does sound a little tricky, is at night time. Bees don't run away during the night time. They all stay in their little hive. In the meantime, we can start putting our glass around. Uh, depending what kind of um, not what kind of bees they are, um, what stage they're in, it's best so you don't have any corner blocks. So when they grow up, they don't act, you know, like they don't, they don't pop out. If you know what I mean? They'll, when they grow up, they'll end up coming out through the holes. Not really a hole, I guess. Okay, let's throw our flowers in. Now we'll put our beehives in. Like I said, they don't usually come out during the night, so that's the best time to put them in. That way they don't run away on you. And now we just close this off. And I didn't bring myself enough glass. Of course not. Alright, internet magic here. Hold on one second. There we go. Abracadabra, I got more glass. Alright. Again, like I said, make sure there's no empty space where they can just pop out. All right, and that's it. And as usual, I can't access everything, but we can fix that later. 
As usual, we'll let this thing run for, I don't know, an hour like usual. Yeah, we'll go an hour. And yeah, we'll see what we get in an hour. So I will see you guys back here in an hour. All right. All right. We'll see you in a second. About an hour into this thing. Let's go. Oh, jeez. Scared the hell out of me. Let's see what we got going on over here. Six bottles. Not too bad. Another five. Let's check our honeycomb. Fifteen. I should have thought this out better to get access to everything. Yeah, we're doing pretty decent. You get a bunch of these together, you get a lot more going on. Get rid of this thing. Yeah, pretty simple. It's not really that hard to do. It produces your honey and your honeycomb. You know, take your honey. You got your honey blocks. And unlike slime, it only takes four to make your block. I mean, it's not jumpy like slime. But it's cool. Then I'm not sure on the honeycomb how many you need. Oh, only four there too. Nice. And now you also got your honeycomb block. All right. So there we go. Pretty simple, not eat, not not really hard at all. The hardest thing is finding yourself some bees. All right, so that ends this, and I will see you guys next time. All right, later.